Joshi, I'm head of Joshi Advocates. Thank you very much for joining us in this video. In the next five minutes, we'll run through Chelik, the Court of Appeal decision, and how to move forward. Now, uh, the link in the description box below for the Court of Appeal decision on Chelik. Essentially, the Court of Appeal is saying that uh, no unmarried partners uh, are required to have the residence card. Uh, because no position in law was identified, uh, paragraph 80 of the decision. Moving forward two ways, you distinguish your appeal or your application uh, on moving away from the effect of Chelik. One is to rely on citizens uh, rights, application deadlines uh, and temporary protection. I've linked the regulations 2020 uh, in the link uh, description box below. Uh, you want regulation 3.6. What 3.6 does is preserves the pre-Brexit law uh, by December 2020. So if you are uh, in an unmarried partnership, durable relationship with an EA national uh, and you met the condition of Regulation 8.5, of the EA regulations 2016, such as you are cohabiting for two years, for example, or you had a child together, or you were living together for less than two years, but had given notice of marriage, for example, by December 2020. So arguably, you would have met the condition of a durable partnership under the pre-Brexit law EA regulations by December 2020. And uh, you would have made your application by end of June 2021. So if that situation uh, fits uh, your application or appeal, then rely on Regulation 3.6 of the 2020 regulations. I've linked it in the description box below. So that's one way. The second way to distinguish your appeal or your application uh, from the effect of Chelik is the interpretation of a durable partnership under Appendix EU. Now, this is going to be a bit technical and it depends on uh, your uh, relationship uh, situation and uh, your immigration history. But I'm going to run through uh, what the essential points are. So still, an interpretation of a durable partnership under Appendix EU allows someone who was in a durable partnership again by December 2020 did not have a residence card or any other lawful status in the UK on that basis. So there was no residence card as an unmarried partner uh, based on the EA regulations. Uh, and uh, you had a, a proof that relationship uh, was genuine and subsisting and is still ongoing at the date of the application uh, that you made for the EU settlement scheme. And the Home Office does not dispute your relationship with that EA national. Now, uh, this is just a very brief understanding of it uh, for your benefit. But in the description box below, I have uh, copied and pasted the definition and in the boxes you need to address uh, your immigration history or your situation as it's relevant to your application or appeal. Now I hope that's been uh, helpful. Uh, good luck with your EU settlement scheme appeal or application. As always, contact me details below, subscribe, subscribe and I'll see you next week. Thank you so much for joining. Take care.